I was holding it together right until the Ukrainian immigrant talked about his people. It was actually another Sunday right here in this church, right here in this stage. I had finished a sermon. We were about to pray the Lord's Prayer together. But first, we invited up a special guest, a young man from Ukraine. He was studying to be a pastor. He had some connections to our church. But we thought since a war had just broken out between his people and the Russian people, it would be fitting for him to pray. And I was standing right next to him as I gave him the microphone. And he started out with his prayer, not for his people, but about our God. And he talked about God's presence. He talked about God's mercy. He talks about uh, God's plans and his patience and all these nice things about God. But then, then he got to the emotional part. He talked about his people. I remember I was standing right next to him and when he said, Lord, please save my people. That line just hit me so hard. Because it, it made me think about this contrast between his people and my own people. I mean, most of my people were sitting right here in church on padded chairs, sipping hot coffee, making plans for their post-church brunch. While his people were running for their lives, hiding in bomb shelters, packing onto trains to cross borders, saying goodbye to husbands and sons and fathers and brothers, not sure if they would ever see each other again. And when I thought about that, the, the heartache and the drama and the brokenness of war, my, my heart broke. And maybe yours does too. I'm not sure when you're watching this video or where you're living as you watch this video, but whether you're like me reading the headlines or you're like that young man living them, it's alarming, isn't it? People are dying. People are suffering. There's rumors that this won't end anytime soon, that it actually could be catastrophic. It, it could be global. It could get much worse. It, it like shakes your head and your heart to think about. Which is why I want to share with you something from this book. Now, when you hear about wars or rumors of war starting, it should trigger in your head something that Jesus once said the week before he died. In Matthew 24, Jesus spoke these words. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. All right, yeah, it's going to happen. Wars are going to break out. Going to be threats of other wars breaking out. But Jesus says, see to it. Make sure. Like, work hard. Do everything you have to do so that you are not alarmed. So that you don't panic so that you don't worry about it, so that you don't lose the peace that Jesus wants to give to your heart. Which seems totally unreasonable, doesn't it? I mean, if, if I'm just a guy scrolling on my phone, okay, maybe. But for my friend? For his family? For the people living in a war zone? Are you serious, Jesus? See to it that you are not alarmed? How can that be? That they're literally expecting mothers whose water is breaking as they sit in a bunker and bombs explode outside. See to it that you're not alarmed? Now, at first I thought that was totally crazy of Jesus to say. But then I thought of my friend's prayer. As I think back on the two parts of his prayer, I, I realized that I got emotional too late in the game. Right? It was when he said, Lord, save my people, that it really got to my heart. But do you remember what he said first? He talked about God. He talked about a God who is constant and a God who is good. A God who is present in the midst of this broken world. He talked about a God who always hears our prayers. A God who is merciful. A God who is loving. And a God who is forgiving. It was like he was preparing his own heart and his family's hearts not to freak out about the things of this world because the God we believe in is so much bigger and so much better. This wise young man didn't start by praying for my people. He started by praying to our Father. And maybe you and I can do the same. Whether you're like me, safe and sound, but just disturbed by the headlines, or you're a little bit closer, even in the midst of the, the crazy conflict of this world, before you and I live or read the news, let's open to the New Testament and read the good news. Before our hearts get sucked in and alarmed by the wars and rumors of wars, 
Let's fix our eyes on the God who sent his only son to be our Prince of Peace. That's how Jesus' words stop being ridiculous and start becoming your reality. Or as Jesus himself said just a few days later to his friends in that upper room, I've spoken these things to you so that in me, you might find peace. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart. Don't be alarmed. Don't lose your peace. Take heart. I have overcome the world. Did you enjoy this video? Uh, if so, we would love to share even more Jesus with you, even if you have a busy, on-the-go kind of life. Uh, just click here and you can find the audio version for this podcast along with all the other podcasts that Time of Grace offers.